Hi everybody, Professor Jay here, and now we're going to talk about horizontal analysis. Horizontal analysis is a type of comparative analysis where we actually do a comparison between years within a single company. This is also called intra-company comparative analysis. Essentially, there's two types of comparative analysis that we're going that we use in general. One is essentially just referred to as comparative analysis. So that makes it pretty simple. And comparative analysis is where we compare a year to the preceding year, such as 2012. If we're at the end of 2012 and we have all the data, we'll compare it to 2011 data. So, that's one type. The other type is called a trend analysis. And you've probably heard of this. A trend analysis is where we do all annual comparisons to a base year. For example, if it's 2012, we may have set 2009 as the base year. So we'll compare our 2012 results to 2009. We'll also compare 2011 to 2009, 2010 to 2009. So we'll look at trends as compared to a single chosen year. Maybe it's a year we did really poorly on or a year we did really great and we're trying to reach that goal. And so each year we compare to that. So now that you know what horizontal analysis is all about, let's actually do an example. Okay, what you're looking at here is a balance sheet of company unknown. So, what we're going to do is actually conduct a horizontal analysis. When you look at a balance sheet, the year that is closest to the descriptions is always going to be the most recent year. The years that follow are the older years. Because essentially, you always want to see the the newest information first. So you notice that 2012 is closest, the leftmost column, and then 2011 follows. So we're comparing 12 to 11. But rather than do that fancy formula, there's another one to look at that makes it a little easier to remember. Think of doing comparative analysis as this formula, new minus old over old meaning the new number minus the old number over the old number. Now, why is that easy to remember? Well, just think of it this way. Anytime anyone asks you if you want to do comparative analysis, say, no, I don't want to. Basically, N-O-O. -O. No, I don't want to do comparative analysis. <laughs> So that'll remind you that it's new minus old over old. It's not old minus new over new or anything that'll give you any other acronym other than no, I don't want to do it. So there, with that, let's go ahead and do some numbers. Okay, I put the formula in the top of the last column so that you could see what we're doing. So essentially, the new number here is 100 and we're going to subtract 110 and put it over 110 to get our first number. So the results are going to be in percent, and they will be positive or negative. You can have a negative percent. So in this first case, if you do the math, you're going to have 9.1%, but it's a negative change. Our cash dropped, as you can see, obviously, but by a fairly significant percent, 9.1%. So these are things that help you do business analysis. Now, I'm going to give you the rest of the numbers. If you look, you can go ahead and verify. With accounts receivable, you should get a positive 20%. Now, two things I want to point out about the results, which you see here. Total assets equals... 2.4%. Total liabilities and equity equals 2.4% in the change. Well, doesn't that make sense? Because assets equals total liabilities plus stockholders' equity. So those should be the same. But another thing you need to notice is that the numbers do not add up within the sections. Not negative 9.1% 
plus 20% for accounts receivable plus 14.3% for inventory is not going to equal a positive 2.4% for total assets. So do not worry about that. Percents don't always add up, and in this case, they are not intended to. However, your total assets figure should always match your liabilities plus equity figure. So you completed the balance sheet, but what about the income statement? Can you do a horizontal analysis with the income state statement? Of course you can, and it's essentially the same thing, new minus old over old. I will go ahead and put the numbers in here, and you can try them on your own and see if you get the same number. So if you got those numbers for sales, revenue, cost of goods sold out to the right, you did a very good job on your income statement, and that's horizontal analysis. Not too bad, just one little formula. And remember, no, I don't want to do comparative analysis.